And of course, all the rain we've had in the watershed over the past few weeks has resulted in that controlled flooding along the Nueces River below the Wesley Seal Dam. And while residents along that part of the river are used to the flooding every so often, it still forces quite a change in lifestyle for them. Our Marissa Cummings has more on that for us tonight. I'm right outside the intersection of Rock Island and County Road 73, where it's severely flooded. The gauge here shows that it's about a foot high, and if you go just another 30 feet back into the neighborhood, the water has risen to about two feet. That's where Chris Flores lives. When he moved into his home five years ago, he says the flooding was no surprise. I knew it flooded. Everybody knows it floods because, uh, you know, the houses on stilts or whatnot. But what he didn't account for was the cleanup and repairs that would have to be made after the flood. We don't get our mail. We don't get our, our trash taken out. Uh, our septic tanks are all filled up, you know. The city knows about neighborhoods like this, this along the Nueces River. River. We have two major reservoirs that the city of Corpus Christi operates. They flood due to water releases from the Choke Canyon and Lake Corpus Christi reservoirs. That ensures the reservoirs don't overflow or give out. But we have to make sure that we take care of the integrity of the dam so that we don't have a larger flood event happen. Flores says he understands that but wants to know before it happens so he can prepare. And the city says they've designed a text alert just for that. So if we need to uh, open up a gate, they will, they will be aware of the flooding that could occur down in their area. If you live in an area affected by the dams, you can call 361-826-1100 to be added to the water release warning list. Marissa Cummings, 3 News.